It's time. It's time. It's time. For what? For the curious singing giraffe show, where we gathered some curious songs, and we'll sing and we'll chat. Find out what you think of that. Come and join us and sing right along. Very quiet. It's the curious singing giraffe show where we've gathered some curious songs and we'll sing and we'll chat find out what you think of that come and join us and sing right along and i am so happy to have a whole new curious crew on the curious giraffe show oh dorothy can i can i introduce everybody up oh, you can after i introduce you Okay, this is Jeanette. She's one of the curious giraffes, and she likes to ask questions and sing, and, and she likes to watch and listen, too, but she also loves to talk and sing. And that's George. Hi, George. George is a little quieter. He loves watching and learning, too, and he loves being up high and watching what's happening, but he's a little quieter, but we are welcoming everybody on our show. So let's find out who's here today. What's, what's your name? Milo. Hi, Milo. Let's everybody say hi, Milo. Hi, hi Milo. Milo. And what's your name? Joelle. Hi, hi Joelle. Joelle. And what's your name? Emily. Hi, hi Emily. Emily. And what's your name? Julia. Hi, hi Julia. Julia. And what's your name? Claire. Hi, hi Claire. Claire. And what's your name? Donae. Hi, Hi Donae. Donae. Great. So now we know who everybody is. And Donae, would you like to hold Jeanette? Sure. And you want to help her pay attention and sing the songs too. So our first song always tells us what our show is about. It's called the Curious Giraffe Song, and it always asks new questions. So we're going to use sign language on the chorus. And let's practice it. Share is you share with others, some for others, some for yourself. Share one big sky. Share one big sky. Give the world a big high five. Yeah, we're different and we know it, but we still get along because we can all share and we can all care. We're different but we all belong, okay? And Donay, if your hand gets warm in that puppet, you can take it off and let her rest. But if you like wearing it, you're, you can keep it on, okay? Here we go. Giraffe looked over at eagle and said, why was I born to walk? Why were you born to fly? Eagle just shrugged and gave a high five. Hey, we all share one big sky, oh yeah. Share one big sky, share one big sky, give the world a big high five. Yeah, we're different and we know it, but we all get along. Cause we can all share and we can all care. We're different, but we all belong. Very nice. Now here's the verse that we're going to work on today. Giraffe looked over at the singers and said, how do you learn the music and the words to all those songs? The singers just shrug, we just sing along underneath this one big sky. Oh yeah. Share one big sky, share one big sky. Give the world a big high five. Yeah, we're different and we know it, but we all get along. Cause we can all share and we can all care. We're different, but we all belong. Awesome. I am so happy to have our new crew singing along. And the kind of songs that I wanted to focus on today, one of the ways that I remember songs and words is if I'm telling a story. And if it makes sense, what follows the other. So I have some songs today that tell true stories. Sometimes stories are true. What's another word for true? They are a... F f f 
It's a fact. It's a fact. Or make-believe can be fiction. Some people call it fiction. Okay, but this is true. So every time we get to the last line of a verse, we sing that same line again. Listen carefully and you'll be able to sing it. For those who are readers, when you see this underlined part, that's what we sing twice. And otherwise, just you can relax and listen and enjoy the true story. And here we go. I heard there was an astronaut way out there in space, living on the space station, a very special place. And in this great wide universe was one thing that she craved. Vermont maple syrup, ah, uh, her food would sure taste great. Vermont maple syrup, ah, uh, her food would sure taste great. Meanwhile, back on Earth, Papa said to Mama, could you make a new design? Instead of jugs and bottles, squirt a little at a time. Like ketchup and like mustard, so none will go to waste. So they made the special bottle that would find its way to space. They made the special bottle that would find its way to space. Cause pouring is impossible when there's no gravity. There is no force to pull it down, it will not flow out free. But with their special bottle, when they give a little squeeze, syrup comes right out and sticks right to their food with ease. Syrup comes right out and sticks right to the food with ease. Yes, maple syrup's precious on the air and on the ground. Mama likes the new design and spread the news around. Just squirt the right amount, and if you want a little more, and none of it is wasted like it is when you just pour, and none of it is wasted like it is when you just pour. And here's the end of the story. So now when there are astronauts way out there in space, living on the space station, they have a special place that holds their special bottle with a special kind of tape. And they squeeze a little syrup when it's syrup that they crave. They squeeze a little syrup when it's syrup that they crave. Wow, that song had so many words. But you hung in there. Now, where did that story happen? Alice, Claire, what do you think? In space. In space, because it says on the space station. Somebody's living on the space station, floating out in space. Very good. And so, what happened in that story? Can anybody remember what happened? Donate? There's no... There is no gravity. There's no gravity. What is gravity? I'm gonna, yeah, it's, uh, Julia. it's something that keeps us down on the ground. Sort of this force, you can't see it, but it holds us down. Yeah, so there wasn't gravity in space. So, but what happened on Earth? Anybody remember what happened on Earth? Go ahead, Julia. They made the maple syrup. They make the maple syrup on Earth, and the astronaut is way up there in space saying, I just want to taste some maple syrup. How many people here have tasted maple syrup? Some of you have, some of you have not. How many people here would like to taste some maple syrup? Would you like to try it? Okay, because I have a surprise for you. I always will have a surprise. Sometimes it will come at the beginning of the show, sometimes it will come in the middle, and sometimes it will come in the end. But I have that special bottle that they made. When I was growing up, they only had syrup in jugs and bottles. And you tried to pour, and it always too much came out. So... We're going to put some in their mouth. Well, I brought a little spoon for each of you. Okay. There you go. Can you just handle the handles? Take one and pass it on. 
Okay, if you would like a taste. Okay. I'm going to do it, and then you go ahead and taste it because I don't want it to spill. Then you can just put it. <laughs> you got extra. I didn't. Okay, I'll see if I can be a little more careful. I thought it would come out easier. That's okay, good. Okay. I'm now, cold or sticky. What's special about this story is the mama and the papa in this story. The, the papa is my son, and the mama is his wife who works for the maple syrup company in Vermont. That's okay. Go ahead, get it into your mouth. May I put it somewhere? Oh, that's a, that's a great question, but no, we're going to save the rest, okay? okay. But you liked it so that much where, that you would like some more. Where did you get that maple syrup? I, you could, I got it at the store, but I also get it from my son's family, and that's a true story. There are astronauts out in space now who can have maple syrup because they have it in the special bottle. So I wrote a song because that was fun. Okay. And, and I noticed there's some loose things in there. We have some other. That is a true story song. But I there, have a different one to surprise there. you. There's a different thing in there. Okay, so let's see what else is behind here. Sit back, Donay, so that Claire can see. Can you sit back flat so everyone can see? Oh, oh. Okay, I'm going to let you see. But we're going to act out a true story and then sing a song about it. Once upon a time, my brother live far away. And he said to the family, would you please come and visit me? We have some really fun things to do in Colorado. Is that a raincoat? Will you come and visit? This is going to be a pretend boat. And George said, we want to take you boating on a really fast river. OK, everybody climb into the boat. And he took us to a really fast river. And the people at the river said, we want you to have a good time, but for safety, I'm going to just show this. You don't, I don't have six of these, okay? But I will, I'll let Donay wear this one. But in real life, every single person got a life jacket, right? Mm -hmm. And they also said, you also need a safety helmet. Me. No, you've already got the life jacket. Who else would like to model the, okay. Um, Julia, you've had a lot of turns. Can I let Milo? Okay, Milo, can you put that on? Can I have a paddle? Okay, no, I'm going to give somebody else a paddle. Okay, how about the ones in the back? We'll have a paddle on this side. You two can share it. How about two of you can hold? And then, Joelle, you and Julia can hold that one. Okay. <laughs> what do you think might happen? What did you say, Milo? I'm going to flip this around. I think it might be more comfortable the other way. Well, maybe you're right. No, you, you had it right. Go ahead. Uh, and, and I can sing the whole song. Oh, good. Me too. Okay, so let's sing the song, and That's we'll wrong. talk about what happens, okay? Donay? What? I want you to be careful to stay in the boat, and we'll hear the whole story, and then we'll act it out. Okay, so just here we go. In 1993, we Colorado went to sea, uniting with the family, we went white water rafting. Paddle, paddle, bump and beat, it's easier than you might think to get washed out into the drink when you're white water rafting. The guides were fun, the guides prepared, they took us out with smiles and cheers. Knowing more than we did there about why water rafting. Everybody can say paddle, paddle, bump, and bink. Paddle, paddle, bump, and bink. It's easier than you might think to get washed out into the drink when you're white water rafting. Then we felt quite confident. From boat to boat, our splashes went. Pretend to splash each other. To soak each other was our intent. We're now white water rafting. Okay, pretend to paddle now. If you don't have one, you can pretend. Paddle, paddle, bump and bing. It's easier than you might think to get washed out into the drink when you're white water rafting. <gasps> then before our very eyes, Diane washed out right over the side. She had a sudden 
only wet or red, Diane was white water surfing. Uh oh, paddle, paddle, bump, and bang. It's easier than you might think to get washed out into a drink when you're white water rafting. Diane was wet, Diane was cold. She turned her feet as she was told. Daddy and Mary and grabbed hold, and none of us were laughing. So sing in kind of a worried voice now. Paddle, paddle, bump and bang. It's easier than you might think to get washed out into the drink when you're white water rafting. <sighs> then the guides pulled her back in. We all began to breathe again and cried some wet relief set in. Have you ever cried when you're happy? That's how we felt. We were so happy. <laughs> oh, you're okay. This was white water rafting. Last time we're happy again. Here we go. Paddle, paddle, bump and bing. It's easier than you might think to get washed out into a drink when you're white water rafting. All right, so rest your paddles. And I want to explain to you. I've seen that picture. I've seen that picture. Picture. You've seen that in the songbook. We have a songbook that has this in it. And it says, Diane was wet, Diane was cold. She turned her feet as she'd been told. Now, I think that needs explaining. So, okay, you're going to pretend to be Diane? No, but I know what, why she Okay, would anybody no, like to? Okay, Julia, you're, she's going to pretend to, okay, we're going to pretend the boat bumped a rock and she, by accident, fell out of the boat. And you're all going to go, oh, Diane, Diane, Diane. Can you call to her? Say, yeah. Diane, we'll take care of you. Diane, we'll take care of you. Okay, so she's wet and cold, and she's remembered. The guide is going to say, turn your feet downstream. We're carry the boat is carrying you this way. You don't want your head first. You want your feet first. Actually, you can float on your back, sort of. Yeah, sort of like lean on. Yeah, and you're going to push off. If there comes a rock or a tree or something, she can push her feet and push away from it so that her head and shoulders are fine. And then she did that, and the two people in the back of the boat, and they happened to be my father and my sister, pulled her back in, and everybody says, yay, yeah, you're yeah. okay. Great. All right, will you come back to your seats over here? Let's take off the life jacket, take off the helmet. Okay. Yeah, set the pad. Oh, here, I'll take them. Yeah. Okay. Ah, I'm in the water. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, but you're going to pretend you're back here in the studio. That was good pretending, everybody. Okay, scoot back to where you were. Scoot, 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 and scoot, 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 scoot. All right, but here's the question. Oh, did you have a comment? What did you want to say? My parents went white water rafting. Great. And did everything go okay? My dad fell in. Oh, he did? Yeah. Like in my family. Yeah. And how did he get rescued? Do you know? No. Did somebody pull him back out? I think so. Okay. All right. So that's very interesting. I'm wondering, what kind of things do you like to do in the summertime? <laughs> Let's take turns. Donate. What do you like to do? Um, I like to go swimming. Okay. And what do you like to do? I would like to go to Florida. Oh, you go to Florida. <laughs> okay. What other fun things do you like to do when you have free time? Yes, Julia. I like to go out and play. You like to go out and play. And how about you? What, what do you do when you go out to play? Um, well, I, um, I have a park that I can walk to from my house nice. so I can play so there. being in the park. Yes. Milo. What do you like to do for fun? Going to the park. You go to a park too. Lucky you. Can you scoot back over so that you're next to Joelle? That's it. Great. Thank you. And 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 I and I also can walk to my park. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to say most of us walk with someone and. Jeanette is letting me know that she can hear in her inner ear that George wants us to see something. How? Yes, Emily, would you open that pouch? It says George's back, and he wants to tell us something. 
And this is his way of sharing with us. Now, no, she can keep it for a minute. Are you, do you know how to read? Yeah. Would you like to read in a strong, clear voice? Milo, turn again so you remember your audience is over this way. That's it. Okay, now, what do you think, what does that say at the top? Here are some other good water safety tips. Oh, oh, so he's back to thinking about the water, like our boating adventure. Okay, some water safety tips. You're going to listen carefully, because you're each going to have a job to do. Listen carefully and say it after her. Go ahead. Always put on plenty of sunscreen before, of sunscreen before you go outside. Okay, always put on plenty of sunscreen. Who would like to remember that fact? Okay. How about Milo? Okay. That's going to, this thumb, hold up your thumb, and it's going to remind you, sunscreen, okay? You remember that. Okay, what's next? Swim with a buddy and always have an, an adult to watch you. Okay, who would like to remember that fact? Claire, you hold that. Can you hold up a second finger and say, what's, what is your idea? To do swim? Swim with a buddy and make sure grown-ups watch you. And make sure grown-ups are with you. Okay, what's another one? Don't push or jump on others. You could accidentally hurt someone or yourself. Okay. Who wants to hold on to that one? Donay? Yeah. Can you, can, can you hold up three fingers, because yours is number three, and say, don't jump or push on others. Don't jump or push on others. You could accidentally hurt them. You can accidentally hurt them. Okay, that's a good safety rule. What else? Stop swimming or boating as soon as you hear a storm. Oh, you want to remember that one, Julia? Okay. So you hold up four fingers, because yours is the fourth one. Okay, one more. Drink plenty of water and fluids when you're outside and swimming and playing so you don't become date. That's a hard word. Dehydrated. Dehydrated. Awesome. Dehydrated. What does dehydrated mean? Oh, my goodness, such smart kids. All right, Claire, what do you think it means? It means... You have, it, if, like you haven't had enough water. Uh-huh. And what happens with your body if it doesn't have enough water? can't really do it. it. It's not really exercised or you can't really do You things. get tired, don't you? You feel your energy go. Okay, who wants to remember drink enough water? There you go. Okay, so you hold up five. Okay, number one. Hold up number one. Let's all do it together. Do you remember what your idea was? Uh, Always put on... Sunscreen. Awesome. Everybody say that. Always, Always put, put on, on sunscreen. sunscreen. Okay, number two. Who had the second one? Okay, what was it? Always swim with a buddy and make sure grown-up is watching you. Everybody say that. Always, Always swim, swim with, with a buddy and make, make sure a grown-up grown is, is watching you. you. Okay. Number three. Um, I forget. Okay, donate. Who can help donate? Uh, Do you remember, Julia? What yeah. number? Oh, you're looking over. Uh, That's fine. How, what was it? You need to don't push on others and don't jump on each other. Okay, everybody it's say dangerous. that. Don't, don't, don't push, push or jump, jump on, on others. others. It's, it's dangerous. dangerous. Okay. Because you might push someone in the water. Yeah. You might My sister pushed me in by from our accident. Dog, from our um. Say that again. My oh. sister pu pushed me in from my from my deck. Ooh. She pushed us into the pool. She pushed and we're, pushed me into the pool. Were you okay? Yeah, I was fine. Oh good. I can touch, so oh, it's okay. okay. I was okay. You were okay that time. Good. Yeah. Number four. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um stop swimming on 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 when a storm comes. If you hear or see a storm coming get out of the water. That's one that I really pay attention to. And number five, Joelle, what was that? Drink enough water. Drink enough water. Everybody say, drink enough, enough water. water. Drink, drink enough, enough water. water. Okay. We're going to do one more song. And it's about how we can help us, oh, yeah. each other, to have a good and safe oh. summer. So let's see. Oh, can I help? Can I help you put some sunscreen on? All right, here it goes. This kind of song has lots of words that are the same over and over, so it's not so hard to sing. Oh, can I help? Can I help you put some sunscreen on? Oh, can I help? Can I help you put some sunscreen on? Oh, can I help? Can I help you put some sunscreen on? A 
or your family person can say, yes, you can help, you can help me put some sunscreen on. Yes, you can help, you can help me put some sunscreen on. Yes, you can help, you can help me put some sunscreen on. I sure like your help when you offer yourself. Can I help you out? How about, can I help you get some water now? Okay. Oh, can I help? Can I help you get some water now? Oh, can I help? Can I help you get some water now? Oh, can I help? Can I help you get some water now? I'll do what I can, just like a friend. Can I help you out? Oh yes, yes you can help. You can help me get some water now. Pretend to drink. You can help me get some water now. You can help me get some water now. I sure like your help when you offer yourself. Thanks for helping out. And I can say thank you, Curious Crew, for helping out today. It's time for us to sing our closing song. So we're going to stand up and join hands. Stand up tall like a giraffe. Uh, how about I'll we're put taller it in than a giraffe. Or, it's okay. I'll put it here. Are you taller than that giraffe? Yeah. Yes, but if we said a real giraffe here, who do you think would be taller? The giraffe. <laughs> yeah. It'll so bind the let's ceiling stretch out. out. Join hands. And we're going to, we have opened our eyes and opened our hearts and stretched our minds and had a really good time. So we're going to sing to our audience, keep singing, keep looking up, keep asking questions, and never give up. Here we go. Keep singing, keep looking up. Keep asking questions and never give up. Keep singing, keep looking up. Keep asking questions and never give up. Bye. Wave goodbye to our friends. Bye. 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 We'll see you next time. We'll see you next time. All right. The Curious Singing Giraffe Show. Where we gathered some curious songs And we'll sing and we'll chat Find out what you think of that Come and join us and sing right along